Hey guys, I am really excited to share with you what I believe is a huge leap in the performance of snare drums. Um, I just filed a patent on this, so I am now able to talk about it. So the invention relates to snare beds. And just a quick background, snare bed is a little dip that's in the snare side of just about any snare drum. Um, essentially, you have a flat edge all the way around the drum, and then where the snare wires go across, you have a little bit of a dip. And what that does is create a curve in the head, which allows the snare wires to wrap around it, which is essential for the sound of the drum. It keeps the wires from rattling and really has a lot to do with the way that the snares respond on the drum. There's a number of different designs of these, but they all have a couple of fundamental issues. When you have this dip on each side of the drum, but the rest of the head is flat, essentially you're forcing the head into a compound curve where you'll have tight spots and loose spots and the head really has to stretch to kind of fit those contours. That creates different tension in different areas of the head. It can create some tuning issues where you have loose areas um, around that snare bed or difficulty with getting wrinkles out in those areas. There's really no way to get an even tension over the whole head because of those compound curves. The head is stretching in a way that's kind of not natural to it. So with the Great Lakes Drum Company snare drums, um, we're using an infinite snare bed. Uh, basically, it's a continuous curve that goes all the way around the drum, uh, with the low points being where the snare wires go across and the high spots across from that, and essentially a sine wave that connects all those points together. So it's a real even, smooth curve, and heads just tension super easily over it. It's a subtle enough curve that it doesn't really even affect the tuning of the drum. You can tune all the tension rods the same, just like you know, the top side, and it really makes tuning and setup a whole lot easier. It also gives you a lot more tuning range. Since you're not trying to fight against wrinkles, um, you can tune it really, really low, um, basically with just barely any tension on it and get a huge fat sound, and it responds really well way up into the higher registers as well. So it really gives these drums an incredible sensitivity. I mean, they, they are really the most responsive snare drums I've ever played. I mean, just the lightest touch gives you a lot of snare sound um, really anywhere on the head. So it just makes the, the snare drums respond like none other. So here it is at a very, very low tuning. And this is more of a mid-range. And here it is pretty cranked. <laughs> 